Okay. Hello students. Now after having online lecture that is interactive as well as YouTube. From today we start actual syllabus. Now this is the new syllabus and in newly framed syllabus of state board there is some little changes and those changes are positive changes helpful to all of you the first chapter in the textbook is units and measurement it's a little bit simple one that's why keeping that chapter beside I will start first chapter and it is mathematical methods mathematical methods now what are contents of this chapter now in this chapter basic mathematics required for physics is covered so thereby in this mathematical methods we will have total discussion regarding vectors second one is calculus in mathematics that is differentiation or derivatives and third one is integration so in this mathematical methods and entire terms operations are helpful to learn entire physics and that's why with full concentration try to understood this mathematical tools or mathematical methods to study physics to learn physics and in this section apart from trigonometry what we require for physics is vectors differentiation and integration okay so out of that we will start first by vectors now what are the vectors and what we have to discuss regarding vectors that we are going to do our today's lecture vectors okay now suppose i ask you to move towards east by 20 meter towards east and later on i ask you to move 20 meter north that is this is east and along north you also travel 20 meter and after that i will ask questions suppose i ask you how much distance is covered by you so your answer will be 20 plus 20 that is 40 meter distance covered by you it's 20 plus 20 that is 40 meter but if i say that what is your new position with respect to initial position let the initial position is a and new position is b and if my question is what is your new position with respect to initial position then you will say that this is my new position this is a new position suppose i am drawing very properly and correctly with straight line so this is your new position so position is a physical quantity which has some specific direction that is your new position is b initial position was a and that new position is denoted by this length of the segment and this arrow so in this example position position is a vector quantity while distance is while distance is a scalar quantity okay now what is scalar a physical quantity which do not possess any direction 
simply value simply magnitude just in this case i told you 40 meter is a distance covered that's all no direction but whenever i talk you about position you mention that this is a new position denoted by ab this arrow gives you direction arrow gives you direction this length gives you magnitude this is 20 this is 20 naturally according to pythagoras you can say that this will be 20 root 2 meter so it has what magnitude 20 root 2 and arrow gives direction a physical quantity which has magnitude as well as a direction that is known as vector quantity so what is vector vector is a physical quantity which has magnitude as well as direction arrow gives you direction and length gives you magnitude of that physical quantity so here the position vector position of that particle or body which travels from a to b the position is 20 root 2 meter arrow gives you direction but more precisely more correctly speaking the direction is given by angle direction in physics is given by angle now you can find out this angle now we know that in right angle triangle tan theta equal to opposite upon adjacent so that's why tan theta is equal to 20 upon 20 that is 1 and when tan theta is equal to 1 you know that theta is equal to 45 degree and therefore this value is 45 degree so as far as position is concerned you are having clear cut information that the position vector has magnitude 20 root 2 meter and it is 45 degree of east if this is east then how is the direction 45 degree of east that is the direction so in this way a physical quantity here in this case position which has magnitude and specific direction such a physical quantity is known as vector quantity however however to learn detail you can say that merely merely having magnitude and direction is not enough to say that it's a vector quantity for example suppose we are having electric current just an example suppose we are having electric current and current is flowing through the conductor let i be the current flowing in the conductor now current is flowing always from positive to negative and it may have some magnitude like 10 milliampere or 5 milliampere whatever current so current has got magnitude as well as a direction even though electric current is not vector quantity similarly suppose i took another example that is time then time is also always always from past to future past to future that is the time so time is also having magnitude like two year so two year that is from one year back to one year future total span is two years it has got direction and as well as magnitude but yet it is not vector it is a scalar but clear as a price to vector sa artha for the magnitude and direction as thing you does not otherwise current must be a vector quantity this time must be a vector quantity so which quantity is a vector quantity a physical quantity which has magnitude direction and obeys laws of vector addition what are the laws what are the rules that we are going to discuss but what is vector then vector is a physical quantity which has magnitude magnitude means value magnitude means value magnitude means 
value only plus minus immaterial magnitude magnitude minus 5 plus 5 magnitude is 5 okay minus 10 and minus 20 magnitude is 10 and 20 sign no geta value sangata anta magnitude so a physical quantity vector vector has magnitude number two specific specific direction and third obeys obeys laws of vector addition what are the different rules and we have to later on verify that these laws are not verified by electric current laws are not verified by time laws are verified by position that is displacement it has got magnitude as well as specific direction and it also obeys laws so that's why it is a vector quantity but the second one is the title ki vector kunala banayche ata kai jananti physical quantity kashala banayche ekka vakya sangto kaim lakshat thevaycha anything that can be measured jala manun mochta yeto tala banaycho physical quantity a kutla physical quantity la scalar manaycha a physical quantity which has magnitude only and no direction asha physical quantity la scalar manaycha that is mass mass of the body mass has no direction it has only magnitude pun to ahe scalar mo vector kuda manaycha a physical quantity which has magnitude specific direction and it obeys laws of vector addition such a physical quantities are known as vectors and here in this example we have seen that we have seen that ab gives position new position of the body vector ab gives new position of the body length gives magnitude length gives magnitude arrow and therefore angle arrow and therefore angle gives you direction of the vector so therefore any vector when i represent any vector when i represent then length gives you magnitude arrow gives a direction so a vector is therefore represented by segment with arrow starting point is known as a tail and this arrow point of the vector is known as head so in this way we are having a representation of the vector ata anke ek suitable example apan jar ditlo tar aplyala example ki how to represent vector suppose i say that 5 newton force 5 newton force is acting along x axis so i will draw length indicating 5 newton force let it is f1 okay but if it is given to you 10 newton force is acting along x axis so it will mean that double is the force so length must be double so therefore f2 is the force indicating 10 newton so not the proper measurement but here i can say that here i can say that 5 newton force f1 10 newton force f2 they are both along x axis that's why direction is same but magnitudes are different more or double so this link it must be double as compared to that other force f1 now this point is known as tail of the vector and this arrow is known as head of the vector so this is tail and this is head in this way any vector you can represent now you can put in example suppose i say that displacement s is equal to 20 meter due north along north direction so i must draw a vector in upward direction indicating 20 meter because this is a north side this is a north side this is a east east north like that you can continue south and this is west so this is the direction of the vector so arrow gives direction and length of the segment gives i mean magnitude okay so to be more clear let us again i can clarify how to write down direction of the vector 
डिरेक्शन अपने छान कहता का वेक्टर कुछ सुना वेक्टर मनता कि मैग्निट्यूड एंड डिरेक्शन है तो वेक्टर हो जरूरता तो करंट वेक्टर टाइम वेक्टर तो वेक्टर नो कारण दो मैग्निट्यूड एंड डिरेक्शन दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू सैटिस्फाय ओबे लॉस ऑफ वेक्टर एडिशन वेरीफाई करना है ओबे करना है जो फिजिकल क्वांटिटी है दो फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज आर फोर्स अनदर वन इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट अनदर वन इज वेलॉसिटी सो ऑल दीज आर ऑल दीज आर अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी अपनी डायरेक्शन कस लिया वेक्टर चाहिए कहना पे नॉ फॉर टाइम बी सपोज आई से दैट This is north. This is east. Now, sorry, south. This is east, and this is west. Okay. Some of the other part is that suppose some vector may be forced along this direction, making an angle forty-five degree. Okay. And the magnitude is 10 newton force. Then you will say that a 10 newton force is along northeast direction. Along northeast direction. Why? Because 45 degree on this side is also 45 exactly intersecting, and that's why 10 newton force is. Along northeast direction, along northeast direction, but instead of like that, suppose a force of 10 newton, force of 10 newton is acting, and angle is 30 degree. Angle is 30 degree with east, with east. Now in this case, in this case, suppose this is a force F1. And this another one is a force F2. Now these F1 and F2, two forces are not similar forces because F1 is 10 newton and its direction is northeast because exactly intersecting north and east. But here in this case, the second force F2 makes an angle 30 degree. Magnitude is 10 newton and it makes an angle 30 degree with east. F2 force this F2 force has magnitude 10 newton and direction is direction is 30 degree. 30 degree east of north. 30 degree east of north. 30 degree angle East yeah, direction see angle kill hai. So it is 30 degree is 30 degree and one shake like east angle kill hai, towards north on direction up the specific area again 60 degree as the top and camel loss that vector makes an angle 60 degree with respect to is or 90 degree will look at the north in so like that here 10 newton. Direction is 30 degree with respect to east. With respect to east, east pass 30 degree. East pass 30 degree. Mata 30 degree anti clockwise up an angle most of the amount of south in our and keep precise the axis. So you can say that it is 30 degree north of east. North of east. The east could not north. Correct. It is 30 degree. The acelera 30 salary. You may allow to move to 30 degree north. Of east, the east pass na 30 degree. Unikara north kada. That is the direction. Zar apna dek kara lassi. Tar apn itha se uttar gaya. Samjha apn asa vector kada. Let it is F3. Let it is F3. And this angle is 30 degree. Let the value is 7 newton. And I ask you to tell me. Magnitude and direction of the force F3. Surely, apply by this suggestion answer the question. Answer. Because how the weight are I? That's a magnitude. Kiti I? Magnitude is seven newton. Okay. What is direction? What is direction? 
30 डिग्री थोडं एंटी क्लॉकवाइज आपण मोजतो 30 डिग्री विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू नॉट आणि मोर करेक्टली स्पीकिंग इट इज 30 डिग्री वेस्ट ऑफ नॉट 30 डिग्री वेस्ट कडे कोणापासून नॉट सो 30 डिग्री वेस्ट ऑफ नॉट लाइक दैट सो यू कैन मेंशन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द वेक्टर सो इन दिस वे एनी वेक्टर वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट by its magnitude and direction angle gives direction of the vector and length gives you magnitude of the vector length double magnitude double so like that we can have a representation of a vector okay to aplyala vector cha nimka direction kase likha te pan kalela ahe याचे एग्जांपल्स आपल्याला वर्कशीट मध्ये भरपूर असतात त्या वर्कशीट मध्ये आपण हे सगळं बघणार आहे आपले दोन तीन सेक्शन झाले की पॅरेलल न्यूमेरिकलच्या वर्कशीट आपल्याला व्हॉट्सअप ग्रुप वर मी टाकेल वर्ग चालू झाला तर आपण वर्गामध्ये त्या डिस्कस करतो इथे आपण क्लासरूम मध्ये डिस्कस करूया पण प्रॅक्टिस याची भरपूर होते वेगवेगळे व्यक्ती देऊन आपल्याला डायरेक्शन विचारलं जाईल टाइम बी या सॅम्पल वरन आपल्याला लक्षात आलं पाहिजे हाऊ टू राईट द डायरेक्शन ओके सो आता इथे आपण याला नॉर्थ ईस्ट का म्हणलं त्याचं कारण क्लिअर आहे 45 एक्झॅक्टली इंटरसेक्टिंग आहे तर आपण नॉर्थ ईस्ट डायरेक्शन म्हणतो इंटरसेक्टिंग असेल तर इंटरसेक्टिंग नसेल तर मग आपल्याला 30 डिग्री असेल तर जसे इथे लिहिलंय 30 डिग्री विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ईस्ट किंवा मोर करेक्टली 30 डिग्री नॉर्थ ऑफ ईस्ट ऑफ ईस्ट ईस्ट च्या नॉर्थ कडे किती 30 डिग्री ओके सो दीस आर द डिफरेंट methods of drawing a vector representation of the vector okay tapura now suppose we are having one vector a ek vector a the vector of i is not magnitude magnitude means value the magnitude of that vector is denoted by either like this modulus of vector आर सिंपली वेक्टर ए विदाउट एरो त्याला वाचता काय वाचायचं वेक्टर ए वेक्टर ए ला काय आहे मॅग्नेट्यूड सो व्हाट इज मॅग्नेट्यूड ऑफ वेक्टर ए यू सिंपली राइट डाउन ए विदाउट एरो दैट्स अर्थ दैट इज मॅग्नेट्यूड ऑफ वेक्टर ए किंवा त्याला मॉड्युलस ऑफ वेक्टर ए असं पण लिहिता म्हणून एनी वेक्टर पी या बी वेक्टरचं मॅग्नेट्यूड सो यू कॅन राईट डाऊन मॅग्नेट्यूड लाईक दिस दिस इज मॅग्नेट्यूड ऑफ वेक्टर बी ऑर यू कॅन रिप्रेझेंट बी आणि डायरेक्शन कशाने दाखवतात अँगल वरन एरो काढायचा दॅट गिव्स यू डायरेक्शन एरो गिव्स यू डायरेक्शन अँड एरो इज ऑब्टेन्ड बाय अँगल सो लाईक दॅट यू कॅन हॅव मॅग्नेट्यूड अँड डायरेक्शन अलाउड ते सगळ्यांना कळले मॅग्नेट्यूड हे रिप्रेझेंट करताना विदाउट ओरेड एरो असेल तर ए आणि मग हा वेक्टर ए आहे समजा मी असं म्हटलं हा वेक्टर ए आहे आणि ए इक्वल टू टेन असं मी लिहिलं इट विल मीन दॅट हाऊ इज द वेक्टर ए वेक्टर ए इज ऑफ मॅग्निट्यूड टेन और वेक्टर बी इज ऑफ मॅग्निट्यूड सेव्हन अँड डिरेक्शन इज नॉर्थ ईस्ट डिरेक्शन इज नॉर्थ ईस्ट यू कॅन ड्रॉ दॅट और सेव्हन न्यूटन Direction is 30 degree east of north. 30 degree east of north. I'm sure you can write down. Suppose this is again a north. A north. This is east. One can say that this is south and this is west. 7 newton. 30 degree east of north. East of north. Of north. The north pass now. 30 degree east. लक्षात आलं असेल त्यांच्या आता उलट घेतलं आहे ईस्ट ऑफ कुणाच्या नॉर्थ ईस्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट कडे ऑफ नॉर्थ नॉर्थ पासन थर्टी डिग्री सो दिस विल बी थर्टी डिग्री अँड इट्स व्हॅल्यू इज सेव्हन न्यूटन कळाले का सगळ्यांना इज इट ओके थोडं स्लो जातोय आपल्याला हे छान कळालं पाहिजे की मला आज काय कळालंय मी मला कुणाला व्हेक्टर नाही म्हणता येणार मॅग्नेट्यूड आहे डिरेक्शन आहे म्हणून तो व्हेक्टर होत नाही तो व्हेक्टर असण्यासाठी त्याला काय असावं लागतं मॅग्नेट्यूड डिरेक्शन ऍज वेल ऍज इट ओबेज लॉज ऑफ व्हेक्टर ऍडिशन तरच त्याला काय म्हणायचं व्हेक्टर क्वांटिटी म्हणायची हाऊ टू रिप्रेझेंट व्हेक्टर दॅट ऑल्सो बी डिस्कस अँगल यूज डिरेक्शन विथ अॅरो 
and magnitude its length of this particular segment okay now acha lecture mde kahi apan types of vector bhagva ta halu halu aplyala speed vadvavi lagte jast vel ghava lagel फिजिक्स अवगढ़ आला तरी इंटरेस्टिंग है एकदा कहला हा विषय खूब आवड़ा लगते मोर वर इतर विषयापेक्षा अपने अभ्यास कर लगते कारण कॉन्क्रीट विषय है पाठांतरा एब्सोल्युटली चान्स नहीं है अपने विषय समझला कि एनी वेर यू कैन अप्लाय युअर आइडिया यू कैन अप्लाय युअर लॉजिक एंड यू विल कंक्लूड वेरी करेक्ट एंड आंसर यू विल हैव वेरी करेक्ट इन्फरन्स अपने इन्फरन्स कन्फ्यूजन डिस्कर्शन करेक्ट करने संकल्पना क्या कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर ओके नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस टाइप्स ऑफ वेक्टर टाइप्स ऑफ वेक्टर तथा पेला वेक्टर इक्वल वेक्टर्स इक्वल वेक्टर्स ओके क्यों मना चाहिए इक्वल वेक्टर्स तो टू वेक्टर्स आर इक्वल इफ I say that vector A and vector B are equal vectors. That equal के मामले से if both vectors A and B possess same magnitude and same direction. Direction is also same. Magnitude is also same. Then we say that vector A and vector B are इक्वल वेक्टर हे दोन्ही पण काय आहे इक्वल वेक्टर आहेत किंवा जेव्हा त्या दोघांचं काय सेम आहे मॅग्निट्यूड इज ऑल्सो सेम डायरेक्शन इज ऑल्सो सेम एरो गिव्स यू डायरेक्शन लेंथ गिव्स यू मॅग्निट्यूड इफ बोथ आर इक्वल ओके आई कॅन से दैट दे आर इक्वल वेक्टर हाऊएवर समजा हा वेक्टर b आहे ओके आणि तेवढ्याच मॅग्निट्यूडचा हा वेक्टर a आहे बोथ आर हॅविंग सेम मॅग्निट्यूड बट b lies along x axis and a lies along y axis sorry these two are not equal vector these two are unequal vector tala ka manaycha unequal vector manaycha manje don vector cha magnitude same hai magnitude same hai pan direction vek vegra asel tar te equal vector asat nahi te kay asat unequal vector asta kiwa suppose direction is also same direction is also same this is 10 newton vector a and vector b is 5 newton again they are not equal vector direction same hai pan kay vegla hai magnitude vegla hai that's why they are not equal vector they are unequal vector so second is unequal vector i think sagana ka ale इक्वल वेक्टर कशाला म्हणायचं अनइक्वल वेक्टर कशाला म्हणायचं इन सिंगल लाइन आई विल डिफाइन टू वेक्टर्स आर सेड टू बी इक्वल वेक्टर्स इफ दे हैव दे पॉसेस सेम मॅग्निट्यूड एंड सेम डायरेक्शन दोन्ही सेम असेल दे आर वेक्टर इक्वल वेक्टर बट इफ टू वेक्टर्स आर अनइक्वल इफ दे आर हैविंग डिफरेंट मॅग्निट्यूड or different direction or both are different magnitude is equal direction is equal unequal but nus the magnitude is equal then it is equal nus the direction is equal then it is equal ye equal asya sathi ya doni condition satisfy jale pahije magnitude and direction ani unequal asya sathi just magnitude vek vek asel unequal just direction vek vek asel unequal doni vek vek asel unequal so that is how we are having unequal vector so we are having equal vector unequal vector then number 3 number 3 that is that is i can say coplanar vector hone apala coplanar ka kya collinear tha chalo collinear collinear vector collinear ओके सपोज आई ड्रॉ दिस वेक्टर ए आणि त्याच्या पुढे जर आपण काढलं वेक्टर बी सपोज आई ड्रॉ वेक्टर सी सो दीज ऑल आर कोलिनियर अ वेक्टर लाइन अलोंग सेम डायरेक्शन एंड सेम लाइन त्याला म्हणायचं कोलिनियर वेक्टर या कोलिनियर वेक्टर मधला ए आणि बी मधला अँगल किती आहे 0 
कि भाई या बी आनी सीमन एंगल कि है वन एट डिग्री बिकॉज दे आर अपोजिट इन डिरेक्शन दे आर अपोजिट इन डिरेक्शन ये कोलिनियर वेक्टर्स आर द वेक्टर्स कि जे एक मेकांडे एंगल जीरो अस्तो तंचा मधे क्यों वा वन एटी अस्तो अपोजिट अस्ते तर एंगल कितने अस्तो वन एटी और इस सेम डायरेक्शन अस्ते तर एंगल अस्तो जीरो दिस इज़ द जीरो और दिस इज़ वन एटी मोड़ द वेक्टर्स लाइन अलोंग सेम लाइन सो दैट एंगल बिटवीन देम इज़ आइडर जीरो और एंगल बिटवीन देम इज़ वन एटी डिग्री सच वेक्टर्स आर नोन एज कोलिनियर वेक्टर देन नेक्स्ट वन इज़ फोर्थ वन इज़ कोप्लेनर वेक्टर कोप्लेनर वेक्टर कोप्लेनर नीट लक्ष्य देख सकते हैं कोप्लेनर अब देखो इफ टू वेक्टर्स लाइज इन द सेम प्लेन इफ टू वेक्टर्स लाइज इन द सेम प्लेन अशा वेक्टर्स ना कहना है इसे कोप्लेनर वेक्टर बनाएं इसे अपन ऐसे इमेजिन किया कि लेट this board itself is one plane. Let this is x y plane. My x y plane made me high vector cardla and your dusra vector cardla. Now these two vector lies in x y plane. Vector A and your vector B. These two vectors are coplanar vector. Kali sakana coplanar vector. Matha misa samda a don vector. Ashe kaitari cardle. Purad. They are again in the same plane. 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 Friends, honestly, it is good. Because two vectors are always a coplanar. Statement correct. It is good. It is good. That is why two vectors are always a coplanar. Like that. Like this. We are having these two vectors. Again, these are in the same plane. That's why they are coplanar. We have a class of vocal. Now again they are in the same plane. We have a class of vocal. Now again they are in the same plane. So any two vectors are always coplanar. But some upon hit two vector are shifted. They are in the plane of board. And now I draw third vector. Atta tisra vector zoy. Is it in the same plane of the board? So definitely they are not in the same plane. This third vector is not in the plane of these two. कि भाई या दोन वेक्टर सा जो प्लेन है सेल, ताचा प्लेन में या थर्ड वेक्टर नहीं है। कि भाई या दो गण सा जो प्लेन है सेल, ताचा प्लेन में या थर्ड वेक्टर नहीं है। In short, any two vectors are coplanar, and third vector coplanar are cells. आसुई शब्द को समझा तीसरा वेक्टर तुम्हें आज साझा किया था, ओके? I draw in on I mean in the same board, that board was the plane was this big it was like this. All of them are in the same plane. So remember that three vector, two third coplanar stars. Do you get the current idea? Because two vector they are coplanar. Absolutely no one. Who clear that three a plane with the common star? The explain kele me apka pala. But three vector still they may be coplanar. Or they may not be coplanar. I think so. Can I clear that? Me answer to that. Okay. Any other answer? Okay. These three are coplanar. One is coplanar. Me I change the right angle. Now sorry, they are not coplanar. So three vectors, two always coplanar, but three vectors may be coplanar or may not be coplanar. It depends on the direction of three vectors. But what is coplanar vector? The vectors which lies in the same plane are known as a coplanar vector. Then fifth one is parallel vector. Parallel vector. Interesting. Parallel vector. Okay. Now suppose I got vector A. This is vector A. And I draw a vector B. वेक्टर बी नो वेक्टर ए एंड वेक्टर बी आर पैरेलल वेक्टर दे आर नॉट इक्वल वेक्टर दे इक्वल नहीं है बिकॉज़ दे मैग्नीट्यूड्स आर डिफरेंट बट हाउ आर दे पैरेलल ओके 
Now similarly, vector x and vector y, these are also parallel vector. Their magnitude is same, direction is also same. So that's why they are parallel. So two vectors are parallel if they are in the same direction. Then some magnitude same as the point, not compulsory. Magnitude compulsory equal cross divided if the two vectors are equal vector. But in this case, these two vectors are equal in magnitude, same in direction. They are also parallel. These two vectors are same in direction, but different magnitude. They are also parallel. So for parallel vector, they must have same direction. Similarly, similarly, sixth one is anti-parallel vector. Anti-parallel. Anti-parallel means two vectors if they are simply in opposite direction. They are exactly in opposite direction. That is, this vector B and vector A are anti-parallel. Angle ya bogan madla kithi asla paije, 180 degree asla paije. Similarly, X and Y are also anti-parallel if angle between them is 180 degree. 0 degree or same, they are parallel vector. Magnitude same as so, not so. They are parallel vector. But 180 degree or same, then they do vector to share. Anti-parallel vector. Parallel vector and equal vector. Acha mother, for a kaya chakta vector. Equal vectors mother, magnitude and direction equal as same. Parallel mother, magnitude equal as so, not so. Direction same as same, parallel. Direction opposite as same, anti-parallel and one more vector I would like to mention over here that is negative vector. Negative vector. Negative vector. Negative vector. Okay. Now suppose we are having vector A. A vector A. And this vector A I draw like this. That's a magnitude A. Now I draw another vector B another vector b such that magnitude of a and magnitude of b is same otherwise you can write like this magnitude of a value of a and value of b is same a is a magnitude and b is a magnitude same but directions are opposite as same b vector is negative vector of a Vector B is a negative vector of A provided the two vectors are two vectors are having equal magnitude but opposite in direction then you can say that A is negative vector of B or B is negative vector of A so like this you can have negative vector and last one is a unit vector last one is unit vector now look here what is the meaning of unit vector a vector whose magnitude is one i repeat a unit vector is a vector whose magnitude is one and and such a vector simply gives direction it is merely only used to represent direction Magnitude is one such a vector is known as a unit vector. For example, suppose we are having x axis, y axis, and z axis. So these are the different axes. Now, suppose I say that a force is equal to 15 Newton and that force is acting along x axis. Okay, keep in mind last point of our today's session that a force 15 newton is acting along x axis it will mean that magnitude of the force is 15 newton so i must represent that force f equal to magnitude of the force and its direction magnitude of the force and its direction now magnitude is 15 magnitude is 15 now i shall mention the direction x axis and for direction purpose we use unit vector and how is unit vector it is the vector whose magnitude is one and drawn in the direction of given vector in physics vector i vector j and vector k 
are a unit vectors along x axis y axis and z axis and that's why to distinguish between normal vector and unit vector these are denoted by cap i cap now this one is j cap this one is k cap so cap indicates it's a unit vector j in cap indicates it's a unit vector now come to the point force f is 15 newton and acting along which direction x axis we know that i cap is a unit vector along x axis so i shall mention 15 i cap okay that 15 i cap gives overall information about this force it is the force 15 newton acting along x axis similarly if i write force f is equal to 25 j cap what is j cap j cap is unit vector along y axis it informs you 25 newton is the magnitude of force and it is acting along y axis similarly i can say that f is equal to 5 k cap मला बोलायची गरज नाही आपल्या मनात आज सगळं क्लिअर असेल की 5 न्यूटन हे काय आहे मॅग्निट्यूड ऑफ दिस फोर्स वेक्टर f एंड व्हाट इज द डायरेक्शन इट इज अलोंग z एक्सिस म्हणून त्याच्यामुळे काय फरक पडत नाही इट्स अ मॅग्निट्यूड 1 आहे त्यामुळे 25 टू 1 इज 25 बट j कॅप गिव्स यू डायरेक्शन अलोंग y एक्सिस k कॅप गिव्स यू डायरेक्शन अलोंग z एक्सिस सिमिलरली आणखी डिटेल पुढे आपण बघणार आहोत की जर मी असं लिहिलं force f is equal to minus 10 i confuse hai sir confusion ka hai sir the magnitude is 10 apla bolo sir the magnitude mhanle ki sign gaiche sir only 10 force 10 newton hai but minus i but minus sign indicates along a negative x axis apta toch force 10 newton pan kodi kada act hoto hai towards negative x axis un jeva jeva yala mi minus lihil tum apan manna 25 newton force but along negative y axis mi jeva yala se lihil f equal to minus 15 newton and minus 15 i that's all the 15 newton force along negative i mean x axis so in this way you can write any vector quantity and for that purpose we use unit vector so i think in today's lecture you are familiar with vector your answer was unique इतर जानसा वेक्टर जाला है तैंची वेक्टर चे डेफिनेशन और तुम्ची वेक्टर चे डेफिनेशन ये निश्चित वेगरी आली पाईजे ती आप ये परफेक्ट असली पाईजे इतर आनुन शंबर रक्के ताला लोकाने एक्सेप्ट केल पाईजे अशित डेफिनेशन असली पाईजे कि वेक्टर मंजे का not only magnitude and direction, it must obey laws of vector addition. So accordingly, we discuss this vector, types of vector, representation of vector. And it puts a matwatsa part. In fact, the chapter is matwatsa. Total mathematical tools that chapter madhya apne tayarunare. So that further physics you can enjoy. And that's why in next lecture, we will discuss angle between two vectors. Okay, I think today you have enjoyed this entire vector analysis and further enhancement and you will be eager to learn how can measure angle between two vectors. So let us discuss in next lecture. Have a good day. Thank you.